<laughs> yeah, but if they go to the left, I just have to get in front of them, right? 15. I mean, we're only doing it for an hour, right? So we're just going to use braid just to be on the safe side, but... We're just going to go with it. I'm actually impressed. Like, we got out here just in time. You know, time wise, I mean, it might've been nice to be out here just five minutes earlier, but it's pretty dang good. Yeah. We're using all different baits because I have no idea. Trophies supposedly are coming in on, on, um, On the rhinos, so if you're going to do one of all, you probably do all rhinos. Moles are apparently working pretty good. Chafers are what all the weeklies are on. I don't know, Razor, but I'll be right back. Oh, Razor, we're not going to be fishing here long enough to make any, like, definitive conclusions, you know? You got an 816-gram common carp, Scotty? Yeah, we're going for sturge. We're going to catch a sturge today. I can feel it. All right, let's, let's look at this a little more closely. I do not know about any buffalo spots. I've been so tied to Norway for so long. I have no idea about anything, hardly. But I'm slowly discovering a few things. All right, Russian sturgeon. So we've got chafer, chafer, chafer. But they're all from like two days ago's most recent. Yesterday, we had a river mussel. Now let's go much, much smaller sample size here of, of fishermen. Um, today, it looks like chafer. Challenge. It honestly looks like chafer. Challenge accepted. Why isn't everyone just using chafer? I mean, there's a mole cricket. Yo, Flower Power, thanks for the sub. Five months, really appreciate the support. Welcome back. Thank you. Maybe we should just put Chafer on everything. Do we have Chafer on anything, by the way? 
Oh yeah, we got it on the first one. Who me? I'm snacking everything. I I am like I'm so restless. I have to almost like always have a mint or something. I mean, literally, I've just got packages of mints everywhere. Oh, the Sturge? Yeah, they're snacking everything too. Me and the Sturgeon. Yeah, just mints everywhere. Icebreakers, lifesavers, breath savers, some kind of gum. But I don't chew the gum because it's not nice to smack on the stream. Maybe I am a Russian sturgeon. Maybe so. Maybe that actually describes me. But then you have this VK post where somebody caught a nice one on a, on a rhino. So again, it just doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem like it matters. All the baits, just use all the baits. All right, first fish on the chafer. First fish, tiny fish. Oh, hey, we caught a rare one. Rhino's catching something too. Oh, it's a sterlet. Wow, how are sterlet not considered rare? Yo, that almost makes it worth keeping rhino on just for sterlet. If there's a better chance for sterlet with those. I love catching sterlet. That makes catch that makes fishing for sturgeon so much better if healthy sterlet are also coming in as bycatch. All right, let's look at weeklies on, um, let's look at weeklies on sterlet actually. Number two, the middle rod. Middle rod, the only one that hasn't caught a fish yet. <laughs> I think that's true. I'll double check Razor. <laughs> All right. Ooh, mole cricket on the trophy sterlets. <laughs> Different bait doesn't count. Mole cricket. That's also the rod that hasn't caught a fish. Has mole cricket and the 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 uh, braided the braided leader. Yeah. I get a kick out of my, uh, myself. <laughs> Christ grow. Welcome back.
<laughs> What's up, Big Drock? Yo, we've got this leader on. Is that what you're talking about? We want to really feel it. We want to really feel this sturgeon. No leader here, though. No leader here. Plafoom, how's it going? So Big Drock, there was an idea put out there that since I don't have the TIs anyway and I'm limited in how strong a line I can use, might as well see if there's a benefit from having a carp leader on there on one line. I need a barbel, too close bear lake trophy card. Oh, to close your bear lake. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know. Didn't, did, aren't there like occasional barbel coming out at 44 right now or no? Science, yes. Cleaned up for now and lady friend won't be here for a couple hours. I'm hopping on. Where am I going as level 18? That's a good question, Zach. Level 18. If you've got carp gear, bear would be fun. If you don't have carp gear, bream at old berg or try trolling quarry. I don't know. Or... It's always good to get cafe orders at Mosquito and Winding done. That really adds up. Sandra, Sandro, Sandrob. Greetings. How are you? Oh, good. Glad to hear it, Plafoon. Thanks for the support on YouTube. I've been streaming so much the last couple days, I haven't been able to um, get a new episode recorded. We'll have to get back on that. Yeah, that I, I sounds like a good plan. Earn some good silver that way. All right, first fish on the carp line here, on the leader. Biggest fish of the day so far. Hopefully it's a sterlet though, right? That is not a sterlet. Ten kilo Russian sturgeon.
When they get bigger, you want to walk backwards and pull them off the bottom and out of the water ASAP. Saves you a lot of fighting. So what are you saying? Just put your brake up as high as you can without snapping it and try to walk backwards and see if you can just sort of jerk them around. Bear's still at it. Good fish and bite rate. That's awesome, Scotty. Yeah, that's what uh, Zerk was saying yesterday. He actually stayed for a second hour in that spot and it didn't really slow down too much. Right. Yeah, we're not locking anyways. That's awesome, Scotty. Good job. Any decent uh, grass carp? Because that Scott, that spot's got a decent amount of grass carp coming out, right? Yeah, no problem. Are you at forty four, or are you still at fifty five? I can't remember. You switched to forty four, right? Okay, and you're not catching grass carp. Interesting. So, Plafoom, you had the trophy. You had a trophy leather at fifty five. That's awesome. Lemon was like magic for you three days ago. That's awesome. I think we're getting a bite, nibble, something's happening on line one. Really? 600 plus silver per hour, wow. All right, so the wild carp are starting to move in here. We've actually caught a wild carp on the chafer and the rhino beetle. supposed to be an overcast day but it has changed it is now fully sunny you're using a 13 kilo saltwater mono liter yeah safer Oh, good, Zach. Yeah, I mean, I you know, people have said like, oh, Corey's not any good. I mean, I think that typically that means it's just, you know, maybe they've experienced it when it's been like on fire and it's not that right now. But 
it's rare that you can't troll Cory and at least do pretty reasonable. Especially using like spinner baits or smaller stuff. Usually works pretty good. What's uh what's the Corey and the the Savan doing right now? Anything showing up on weeklies that gives you a clue? These Dodger cranks are store bought. Now, unfortunately, everything was earlier in the week. I do like that S07 typically though. Yeah, I agree, Big Druck. More information, yeah, that would be really cool. So Dodger Crank, that's from today, the 06. So they were probably going for the quarry. And then these aggressors still working. I mean, these aggressors have been working at quarry for like ever now. Always interesting to see a little West Siberian 002. All right, two fish on here. One, we got a little chub. Hopefully this will be a sterlet. Wild carp. Hey, I'll take a wild carp. At least that one was a marker. Yeah, it might be worth trying. I know those ag aggressors have been a thing for a while. and Because I, I remember when they first showed up on the list... And people were saying that they were pretty good. Like, it surprised me. Like, that, that lure just wasn't on my radar at all. <sighs> 18 kilo mirror carp. Oh, nice, Scotty. So only two sturgeons, but the one sterlet. Allergy attack, maybe. Maybe so, I probably need a dust in here actually. My computers would probably appreciate it.
We were having the worst digs out here. Mole cricket. Sterlet. Oh, Stellet. So we've got Stellet, Russian Sturgeon, and Sterlet all right here so far. Yo, what's up, Quantum? Yeah, we're trying to catch a couple sturgeon. We're just here for the day, though. <clears throat> I think we're going to go back to Norway and try to finish off 75% on marine fishing, or at least keep working on it. After we get through the day. You got snapped off by a big carp? Wow. 
What spot were you at, Quantum? Was this was this float fishing or what? One nineteen, one fifty five on the long, the log peg, the long peg, cornmeal and sweet dough. Gotcha. Uh oh. All right, there's a little sturgeon. Looks like the sturgeon woke up. Yo, English only. Unfortunately, I do not understand Russian. Oops, I didn't mean to hit shift there. We are kind of pulling it a little bit, Razor, actually. So I wonder what size this will be. We are literally... I can't believe that worked, Razor. You're, you're actually pretty smart sometimes. You're actually pretty smart sometimes, Razor. That was on a 36 kilo carp leader, folks. <laughs> okay. Now, if that had been the trophy, would that have gone as well? Probably not. But... <laughs> That actually worked. Uh, at 25 kilo, that actually worked. Good tips, Razor. <laughs> 25 kilo Russian sturgeon. Hey, that's a nice fish. Yeah, Scott, he probably should let it rest. It's a good call. Good call. Dude, that was scary fun. Yeah, that is good money. No, you're right. It's it's crazy. Like you feel like, oh, this is so slow. I'm not doing anything. And then you go to the fish market. If you just have a few sturgeon or whatever, it's like it actually pays pretty well. Sturgeon are streamlined in the water, but fight very strong fighters. Yeah, true. Uh oh. Oh, did you see that? Fake bite? Fake news? I think it... Is it still on there? No. It slid right off, didn't it? Which spot was really good at Amber? 132, 
Same with grassies, yeah. They are similar shape, aren't they? Torpedoes. 132, 147? 137, 147, what is it? One thirty two, one forty seven, I think. Fifteen meter clip. Yes, one thirty two, one forty seven was it Amber copy, that's right. Yeah, I was doing muscle size 15 boilies with corn. I think some people were doing like just corn though. Especially if you don't have PVA, you might do at least one with just corn just to get as good a bite rate as possible. But I think that uh, the 15 size boilies and corn was working really good though. Yeah, muscle corn. That's right. Green muscle corn. Yeah, there you go. Works well without PVA. Yep. I thought it did. Schaefer might be getting a nibble. Yep. Something small though. Sterlet. Surge. Rhino. Honestly, like, I mean, kind of what we were talking about, all three of these baits seems like about the same bite rate. Hard to get a feel for, for a preference right now on sturgeon. They're just kind of snacking on everything. Finally, a good dig. This spot looks familiar. Have you been here a lot lately, Yak? Is it crab and mussel soluble pop-ups? Uh, actually, Scotty, I was just doing um, just regular mussel, I think. Hold on. Let me just look and tell you. Was it garlic and muscle? I think we were using garlic and muscle, actually. Is that right? Is that right, chat? Yeah, I think it was garlic and muscles. Oh, okay. Just looks familiar from your past, then. Size was better on mole and leader, though. Yeah, I, I, that is true, Razor. I do think at this point, we, as we said going into this day, we've, we're just going to have a very small sample size, right? Hey, Sterlet number two. I love it. Man, I would actually be more excited. Now, nah, I don't know. Is that true? I mean, if we caught a Russian Sturgeon trophy, if I actually got it in, like that would be very exciting. But Sterlet trophies are awesome, too. Yeah, muscle dip, that's correct. Purple craft baits. So I don't I actually I'm not sure but I did notice recently and I don't know if this has always been the case 
that the is it the sinking boilies have the silver top for old pal and the pop up have green has that always been the case oh i see what you're talking about though clear lid Before, what do you think it was before? Like no lid at all or what? Or you couldn't see the baits? Snufkin says it's just luck at this point. Maybe it was always luck, actually. I got trophies a few days ago. Now I'm getting bastards and sometimes sterlet and lots of roach. Yeah, I got you. Oh, solid purple. Maybe so. Maybe that's a change. Come on, sterlet. Oh, it's a bastard. You called it. The jars always had silver, green, and red lids, though. Uh, I don't know if we want to imagine that, Scotty. Ooh. How big are the Persians? I actually don't know what starts trophy size. I mean, I think just in terms of bang for your buck, I think you want Russians, right? In terms of silver XP and all that. Oh, that's awesome, Razor. Rosh Lando says 100 kilo Persian trophy. Wow. It's massive. What do you mean, Big Drock? I don't know what that means. Once we get to overnight hours, they're pretty slow, right? That might be when we bounce back to Norway and go ahead and get into um, into mackerel time. Another bastard. I guess because of how many different species we're actually catching here, it's not been as slow as sturgeon spots sometimes are, but we haven't had that many fish that were like, had any size to them though. I thought one of these were getting a nibble, but maybe not. Oh yeah, that right line is sort of getting looser we'll see mm.
A one kilo roach going for bleak? Wow. Hoping we'd have a shot at just like something else right before midnight here. Still haven't put a lot of my skill points into in back in. We've got a few in marine fishing. I've got a few back in like carp rod, classic hair, classic pop up, loop rig, spinning reel. I put it back into ground bait so that the PVA wouldn't be garbage. But that's all I've done so far. We'll probably eventually put them back in lures if they really do come out with craftable pilker lures. But I haven't done that yet. All right, that's it, it's midnight. Let's tarry on. Second fish at 132 is 14 kilo mirror. Nice. Uh, did you just get out there? You haven't been out there long, have you? Three hundred and forty three silver in one day. No night, just a day. No cafe orders. Still not bad silver though, especially for how little time we were out there. 153 for the one. Definitely take that. 